quarterback there is the face of the program. When I was in school in the 1980s, most African-American quarterbacks were recruited to play other positions, myself included. Just because of the color of your skin, you weren't smart enough to play that position. That really hurt and cut deep. But the University of Houston promised me the opportunity. Very easy, got a man wide open. Touchdown! They asked me to run the right shoot. <laughs> we were innovative and one of the first teams in the country to do what we were doing. We would spread you out. We would attack you. Where to Anders? And he's got daylight. Where looks deep has two men. We never went out to average 53 points in a year, but we got pretty good at what we were doing. And Andre says, I can do anything. We had a win that year of 95-21, and I only played the first half. Everybody kind of wanted to see nationally what was this phenomenon going on in Houston. Okay, I'm looking right over here, guys. But we were never on live TV that year. Never. There were some problems with the previous staff. And in December of 1988, we learned that we were going on NCAA probation. It kind of served as motivation, so it was like, hey, let's go out and kick everybody's butt on the field. Throwing over the middle, that is Hazard. Touchdown, Houston. Andre Ware may have had the deck stacked against him more than any other candidate in history. Not even the Houston sports information staff considered him a contender before the season. I never set out to win a Heisman Trophy. And never in history had an African-American quarterback ever won the Heisman. The 1989 Heisman Memorial Trophy to Andre Ware of the University of Houston. It's a full circle of a lot of things. I've had high school coaches telling me that I wouldn't get the opportunity to play quarterback in college. The opportunity to play quarterback when a lot of people didn't believe in me. When you tell me I can't do it, then I'll go to the bitter end to prove you wrong. We brought the Heisman Trophy to Houston, Texas. I knew what it meant, but I didn't totally comprehend the significance of what had just happened. I think as years pass, you come to realize the significance of what actually took place. It kind of hit home that you walk through that door first and maybe open the door for the next guy to do it.